Hi there. This is the Black Woman Reader, and I will be reading from the fourth chapter of Second Nephi. In this chapter, Nephi uh, Lehi dies, and before he does, he blesses his his family, he blesses the, his sons, Laman, the mule, and and Sam, and also uh, the, the house of Ishmael. This is this little band of Jews, so I guess all the everyone is is being blessed by him. But he also, in his blessings, he warns them. For inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. And insomuch as ye will not keep my commandment, ye shall be cut off from my presence. So this is all happening in the land of promise but soon after the old man dies there is contention among the brethren uh, against um, Nephi and it came to pass that not many days after his death Laman and Lemuel and the sons of Ishmael were angry with me because of the ammulations of the Lord Nephi becomes depressed and angry with his brethren. That's not a pleasing combination, depression and angry and, and anger. That's a very uh, bitter cup. Yet there are those who drank it up, but not Nephi. He does what millions upon millions of us uh, do. When that cup is placed before them, he turns to God. He thanks upon the things that God has done for him in the past. And this gives him encouragement and hope for the future. Let us start with uh, 16. Behold, my soul delighteth in the things of the Lord. My heart pondereth continually upon the things which I have seen and heard. Nevertheless, nevertheless, my heart exclaimed, I am a, rich, a wretched man because of my flesh, and my soul grieveth because of my Inquities because of the temptations and the sins which so easily beset me. And when I desire to rejoice, my heart groaneth because of my sin. Nevertheless, I know in whom I have trusted. God has been my support. He has led me through my affliction in the wilderness. He has preserved me upon the great waters of the deep. He has filled me with his love even until the consuming of my flesh. He has confounded my enemies and caused them to quake and shake before me. He has heard my cry by day and has given me visions by night. By day my voice I have sent up on high and angels have come down and ministered unto me. My eyes have beheld great things, many too great for man, therefore I was forbidden to write them. Oh then, if I have seen so great things, why should my heart weep and my soul linger in a valley of sorrow? Why should I yield to the sins of my flesh? Why should I give way to the temptations of the evil one has place? Why should I give to, give place to the in my heart to the evil that has been placed there to destroy my peace and afflict my soul? Why am I angry with my brethren? Why am I angry? Why has their actions made me angry? Awake, my soul, no longer drooping sin. Rejoice, O my heart, 
and give place no more to the enemies of my soul. Oh, deliver me out of the hands of my enemies. Make me that I shake and quake in the appearance of sin. O oh Lord, shut not the gates of righteousness before me. Encircle me in the robe of thy righteousness. Make my path straight. Place not a stumbling block in my way. And hedge the way of my enemies. I have trusted in thee. I will in I will trust in thee forever. <laughs> This is the Black Mormon Reader. Until next time.